what is up everyone this is FX Theater here and I'm gonna be doing another Photoshop tutorial on how to make the spiral effect around an object or a person um, it can end up looking really cool if you do it right uh, so first of all we're gonna go over here and grab uh, this pen tool make sure you have uh, this one selected and then the first one on the second column to make sure it's a pen tool and then make sure you select add to path area just right up here uh, it's pretty easy to do, just make sure you uh, click the right one or it won't work at all. Alright, so first you're going to make your make a new layer, sorry about that, make a new layer first, and then uh, go ahead and put the point where you want the spiral effect to start. Then go uh, good ways down is uh, down the body or down uh, the object, whatever you're doing. And, uh, it might take you a couple tries, but you can always just undo it and uh, retry it but go ahead and click on the middle and then pull it out and it will make a uh, make it curve so then go down here do the same thing you want it to kind of even out make it look the same obviously you want to make it look the best that you can and then just uh, keep doing this all the way down the body almost done alright now once you have that done uh, go ahead and uh, click out of that and go over to your uh, stamp tool or your uh, brush tool make sure the brush is about uh, 13 it depends on how big your picture is uh, you can always go back and change this uh, by undoing it uh, but make it a good uh, number and then go back to your pen tool right click on it click stroke path make sure this is on brush and it has to be on simulate pressure click OK and then uh, it's gonna create that that was a little bit too much so we're gonna undo that go ahead and make your brush tool a little bit smaller probably go with about a nine see how that looks okay make sure you grab your pen tool again right click stroke path same thing as it was last time. Uh, let's let's see how that looks. We'll right. Um, delete path. There we go. Um, I don't like how that looks, so we're gonna make it one smaller. So go back again. This may take a lot of adjusting, uh, but eventually you should get a good outcome and it'll look nice. Go back. Stroke. Oh God! I think I think I just messed it up a little bit. Oh my! And I'm a tutorial channel. All right. After you do that, then you go back and do that. Sorry if I confused you, but there. That looks a little bit better. It could be a little bit bigger, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Go ahead and click cut now. Yeah, there you go. Click cut until it uh, is gone. And then, uh, yeah, okay. So now go to the erase command, and then we're going to want to erase everything that is going to be uh, behind his body or what's going to look like is behind his body. So I guess we're probably going to want his face to not be covered. So go ahead and erase what's on his face or on their body or on your object, whatever you're doing. This is just going to be really quick because I don't want to waste too much time on a tutorial. You guys should know what you're doing, and uh, if I mean if you're watching this tutorial, and uh, you can take more time to do it right, but I'm just going to do it really quickly. So I can't really tell where his body is. If uh, you're doing this, you might want to do it um, on like an object that you can see around, but he he's all black. Wow, that was what, I was racist. <laughs> But anyways, just, uh, I'm pretty sure you guys get my point. But just, uh, you know, just <laughs> go around his body. Oh, uh, I feel like a jerk. Alright, there, that's pretty much the basic effect that you're uh, going for. But, uh, let me know if uh, that worked out good, or let me know what you guys want for uh, following tutorial, or, uh, 
tutorials to come. Sorry about that. It's pretty late out. Or er, oh my god, it's pretty late, and uh, I'm tired. So uh, just let me know what you guys want to see, and I will do my best to get them to you. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.